So shout out to the squad out there. So in today's video, in today's video, is Forex Shark back? We're gonna be going over Black Cube Finance. It's been a while, but some recent updates, you know, we have to talk about. Shout out to the squad out there. Let's go. Come some animals, got me a couple. Got in these people, got in these trouble. Watching this bottle talk, gonna go wrong with Steady curl butter, bring more to the butter. Come some animals, got me a couple. Got in these people, got in these trouble. Watching this bottle talk, gonna go wrong with Steady curl butter, bring more to the butter. MLP for the piggy bank. Dropping the sauce, got on my back. My back. Part of town up. Check this. So if you're new, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Welcome to the Barter Town conglomerate. Surviving the digital age. Make sure that you guys uh, turn your bell notifications on. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that like button and tell a friend to tell a friend that Barter Town is live. You know, the Barter Town conglomerate is a hub, is a pillar, you know, for us to come together, us DeFi warlords out there trying to survive in this brutal and unforgiving wasteland. The world is on fire and we gather together here each and every week to discuss strategies, to discuss you know, exchanging goods and services, resources, putting each other on to the game so that way we can go out there prepared in this unforgiving DeFi wasteland to dominate cryptocurrency. So make sure that you guys join our Telegram, our Discord, our Twitter, and join the squad. Home base, of course, is the Telegram. The same Telegram where we met Forex Shark. The leader, the leader, the leader. <laughs> and of course, we had our journeys, you know, through these this DeFi wasteland. And, um, you know, learned a lot of game, you know, from interacting with the ecosystem that uh, Forex Shark has created. Created a massive community also, you know, on our own. And also contributed to the building of the Drip Network community, Animal Farm community. But of course, you know, the bear market was very brutal. And the timing of things, uh, you know, took long in, in many instances. So, you know, uh, things didn't get maximized the way that they should have. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you, 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 you let time pass by. And you, you analyze those things. You know, everything looking at, everything in retrospect. Oh, I should have did this. I should have did that. Think things should could have been like this. Everyone goes through that um, in life. So, um, you know, sometimes you have to take steps back in order to move multiple steps forward. So this is where we're going with this video today in our latest update from Black Cube Finance. So as you can see here, here is the philosopher next to the black cube you know symbolizing you know what forex what kind of mindset forex potentially can be on you know um, doing high level mathematics and figuring out the high level game theory so that way we can pivot from you know a traditional model where you know there's a short lifespan you know what i'm saying where there's only a certain level of, 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 of growth that you can have. Whereas, you know, building a protocol or building a system, instead of building only just a protocol, building a system that can last and, and stand the test of time where, you know, uh, you know, price action and these different things aren't the key focal point, whether, where it's just a system that works. And that could continue on as you build out your legacy. So check this out. The act of isolating oneself. If you guys can read this, you might be able to. I'm not sure. But the act of isolating oneself. You should. You guys should be able to read that. Yeah. To focus on tasks or goals is often referred to as solitude or seclusion. Historically, many influential figures 
have sought solitude to concentrate on their work or introspection. It, for example, the philosopher Henry David uh, Thoreau, right? I think that's how you say his name, Thoreau, 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 I think it's Thoreau. Uh, famously lived in solitude at Walden Pond, where he wrote about the benefits of a simple and isolated life. Uh, similarly, the mathematician and physicist uh, Isaac Newton spent, spent extended periods in seclusion to develop his theories and conduct experiments. In modern times, the concept of deep work popularized by author Cal Newport emphasizes the value of uninterrupted and focused work often achieved through deliberate isolation. So guys, you know, there's a lot of people who consistently ask for when's this update, when's that update, when's this update. And of course, you want to be in the know. Of course, you want to be... Um, you know, like how things used to be, where we would be getting these constant updates, and um, that's part of our the the branding of this whole community. But this is the time where, you know, um, Forex is in the lab, and he's uh, you know building something incredible, and the days are counting very short to when we're going to be able to be able to have you know our migration from animal farm leading into black cube finance now we have a lot of new members of the community we have a lot of new members of the channel for those of you who don't know the animal farm you know it, the concept of the animal farm was beautiful you know what i'm saying like um you know if you guys are familiar with the story long story short the animals of the farm this particular farm were getting mistreated so then what ended up happening is by the by the by the by the humans so the the animals uh, rose up and started a rebellion against those humans and they became owners of the farm but then of course uh, becoming owners of the farm uh, they there's a excellent plot so it's at the end of it where the pigs became the dominant rulers of the farm with the helps of the dogs and um, you know the cycle of the person ruling over the animals continued. So it was an excellent storyline to base our glorious animal farm. And, it, and, and, you know, for me personally, it's just excellent memories. We have music, we had culture with animal farm. And, um, you know, the one thing that they could never take from us, any community or any hater period, is the fact that we build up communities strong. We make the narratives, we make the storylines, you know what I'm saying? And we bring culture into crypto, and that culture feeds into the greatness of how how, how, how big a protocol can be. So um, that's the expert level, you know, that, that um, you know, our community is able to take things. So, of course, Animal Farm had its window, and DeFi evolves. So for a time period with Animal Farm, um, you know, we had to make some new uh, developments and one of these developments, major overhaul, rebranding of the whole concept, um, going into black cube finance. And it just has been some time, you know, with this update going from animal farm to black cube, which is a total rebrand and a different type of uh, strategy. I'm going to go into some of those things, but, uh, you know, like I said before, you know, um, uh, <clears throat> Forex Shark had to go into the lab with the dev team to be able to figure things out. So now, of course, erasing all rumors. Uh, Forex is around, and he's working on things diligently, but at his pace. And also, um, as far as being in communication, I'm in communication with um, one of his direct team members, you know, the other one I can hit up any time. And also one of the developers working on Black Q Finance. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, they around. They working. They working at their pace, though. You know what I'm saying? If you think that Forex is going to rush or trying to, 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 to do something because of X, Y, and Z, he's not. What he's totally doing is trying to figure out, um, make sure that everything is safe. Because there's plenty of um, exploitation, plenty of different things. Um, 
so that he wants to make sure he doesn't overlook so that way when this thing comes out there's no issues no problems no concerns so make sure you guys understand that make sure you guys understand that even when it comes to like don't compare this to anything that you've seen before you've seen other liquidity management uh, uh, position managers etc and many of them have gotten exploited already right and also these uh, position managers these aren't optimized and if they're optimized they're optimized to profit the liquidity manager um, um, you know uh, company or whatever you want to call them the liquidity manager service they're really optimizing their capital, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, they're not giving you the maximum gains back. And all you got to do is come here to experience position manager for yourself or, or experience another protocol similar to this. And you will see that it's not that bullish, right? And you know it's not that bullish because people are barely participating in it. You only see 300,000 here, 700,000 here. If it was truly optimized, you know, like they, like you would think it was, uh, you would see a significant more TVL here. A lot of more people would be in here, but people drift off, drift off, drift, drift off and do other things because there's better uh, places to earn yield at the moment. But, you know, the beauty of the Black Cube Finance is that, you know, Black Cube is going to be able to be a multi-chain protocol. So it can be added into any of the favorite DEXs that you have or the favorite assets that you have. But, you know, just going through the tale, the last time we spoke to Forex Shark was on October or around that time. And that's when we did our latest AMA. <clears throat> and um, I'm looking forward to the next AMA that we will have with Forex so that way we can digest everything but of course it's going to be on his time of course it's going to be when things are ready of course you know he he doesn't owe anybody anything he doesn't owe no one anything he wants to build something great so um you know he's going to take the time to do so so make sure you guys understand that right and um you know if you have any you know the, the, that's the thing about taking time time heals all wounds right and if you have any bitterness about how he handled things, you're in a position where you can move on. You're in a position where you can sell your assets and do something else. You don't have to stick around. But for those of us who understand, um, you know, that whatever he, you know, when, when he drops something, it's going to be very significant and profitable, right? Always. Every single time he put something out, there was an opportunity, right? So now, you know, we know, you know, on paper, Black Cube Finance, the way that it's looking, it's looking very profitable, right? It's looking very, very great for those of us who want to be able to put certain positions and, and, and reap the most benefit from our capital that we're putting into an LP or, you know, participating in different um, blockchains and earning different yields. So, you know, I'm looking forward to the way Black, Black Q Finance is going to turn out. So let's just look at a few of the different updates. So now if you guys don't, if you guys want to see the latest updates, the latest updates, of course, are on Black Q Finance Twitter. So, you know, we're seeing, okay, we're ushering a new era D5, you know, new platform introducing machine learning, you know, AI, right? Uh, market making with our range optimization algorithm called Rome, which is fire everything from the branding to the name to the the tools used name right ai you know where it's all cutting edge stuff we're following every single narrative that you can think of right so now <clears throat> one one of the things that made you know people very interested in black q finance rome back tested results early 2021 this week so what he did was he he put up a scenario of going from 2021 to 2023 i believe it is or a certain a certain time frame and then he ran his model through uh he ran rome through that model and then what ended up happening is that you know, it would have resulted in around 400% APY at 2.5 years. And that's not including cake rewards or cube rewards that you would be earning. So 
uh, which would add approximately another 120% APY. So this APY in USD value paid out in BTC and USDT. So understand this, guys. Between 2021 and 2023, we experienced a bull run and then a bear market. So he ran it through that whole time frame and was still able to be 400% APY uh, uh, profit, having profitability between that amount of time frame. And understand when it comes to earning yield from BTC and USDT, uh, specifically that pair, it's very difficult to earn high yield with BTC. People drool over, you know, the possibility of being able to earn that high of yield with BTC. So, um, you know, those results are very bullish, right? <clears throat> and, you know, a lot of people have these comments, you know, and, and, and you could tell the level of understanding they have. Pancake Swap is running laps around this project, you know, uh, complaining about, you know, different things, but it's like, you're not there. But now, of course, we're waiting for Black Cube to launch and we're waiting for everything. But understand, like, this is dope. You know what I'm saying? On paper, of course. We're looking on paper. And we're saying, yo, this is fire, right? So now, let's go back. Shout out to uh, D5 God, formerly known as uh, Drip God. And... Um, he is uh, holding it down with the Black Cube Finance video. So, did you know that Black Cube Finance pools utilize a headache saving tool called the Zapper? So, we'll be able to zap in and out of pool positions, which is great for our community because, of course, we have a lot of newbies in our community. And we're, we're you know, ideally, you know, what Drip was, of course, Drip is connected to Animal Farm and to also to Black Cube. Um, you know, we're an onboarding sort of platform. Br br being able to be a bridge coming from, you know, being brand new to crypto to coming and using, you know, uh, uh, traditional finance type of tools, you know, uh, 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 um, institutional grade tools that you wouldn't be able to use, but you're using it in these systems, right? Governance models, etc. These things are not for regular people. But that's what Forex is trying to build, right? That's what Forex is set the standard for. Even with Animal Farm, having that ownership, you know what I'm saying? So I, <clears throat> continuing on, Rome automatically manages your position more intelligently than the competition backed by four years of back testing set and forget it. Even better, each user can customize their own strategy, leveraging the power of Rome to maximize their returns. Having custom strategies having you know a tool that'll help you i know that some of you guys even got to participate um in titan x drip x etc and you got to experience v3 and being able to optimize your position now imagine you had a tool that would be able to help you adjust your positions without you really needing to modify it right a preset that you can set up but then also um, with Black Cube, you can add, you know, uh, the earning function on top of it. So you have a, a yield token associated with you setting up your position. So interesting, you know what I'm saying? The possibilities of what could be achieved with Black Cube Finance. Nothing on Black Cube Finance will dilute the value of our native tokens. All rewards are paid from profits earned outside our ecosystem. A portion of these profits also appreciates the value of our native tokens via buybacks. And that's one thing about, you know, Forex's uh, products. He goes into feeding the protocol and feeding the tokens. So like those other these liquidity managers... You know, uh, uh, we're talking about these manager fees of 15%, 10%, and even within the yield, um, they're eating these guys. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Forex really is setting things up to feed the protocol and feed the tokens of the ecosystem. All right? So that's the beauty of 
you know what black q finance is going to be able to do so you got seat um Staked in a round table present a part ownership of Black Cube. Seat holders are paid are paid share of all the profit generated by Black Cube products. So just remember that seat is equivalent to the pig token, the AFP token. So in order for you to uh you know right now think of pigs as your way to get a pre-sale leading into Black Cube Finance. So it's a free market right now. Everybody can buy, sell, and trade. So, you know, holding a position in Black Cube Finance is gathering your seat token, right? So 40% of the incentive budget swap for BNB and paid out to seat governance stakers. Seat has a 3% burn on all sales. Seat allows holders to vote on future roadmap proposals, right? So now secure your seat at the round table and the round table is, is uh, similar to how the pig pen was, shared ownership and et cetera. And you get dividends and BNB and seat dividends over, wait, generated from the fee cultivated during the deposit and withdrawal activities, right? So cube transaction, a portion of taxes applied to cube uh, is also distributed as dividends to the stakeholders, right? So let's continue. Okay, look at this. Okay, the pillars of Rome. Can't read all that. Five pillars of data collection. So you got the five pillars of data collection. Rome wasn't built in a day. Here we go. So Rome updates the range on a time interval built to rebalance infrequently putting performance first. Rome adjusts liquidity range based on market volatility, historical price data, and order book data. So now, yo, that's one thing, man. <coughs> on paper, Rome is fire. You know what I'm saying? This is this is fire. You don't have this anywhere else. If you have something similar to this, it's not optimized the way that we want it to, and it's not it's not uh, more competitive than others. You know what I'm saying? It's it's this is gonna be more competitive with, than others that are out there, and we're coming with a massive community that's gonna participate and grow it, <clears throat> and a monster influencer base that we have, right? The strong ones. Um, Rome uses multiple exponential variables to favor more recent data when creating the new range settings. Rome is adaptive due to not using hard-coded settings and instead relies on programming training to choose a configuration built to optimize fee collection and minimize risk makes integration of new pools easy fire. Rome utilizes one inch ag aggregation to minimize slippage, etc. Right? And the competitors do a, a lot less, you know, position managers and all these other uh, liquidity managers that have been getting exploited. Several got exploited. So it's just like, yo, it's a lot of funny business going on on that side. So, all right, boom, reaching out partnerships, quality projects, project uh, incentivizes you to add liquidity, etc. It's easy for for Black Cube to be able as one once they have a finished product, all of these major dexes is gonna want to use them, um, because it'll be more profitable for the dex to want to use them and offer that to the community. There has been an alarming number of hacks, so you know, um, make sure you guys are aware of that. Be careful out there using these other protocols. Security is challenging. Too little to get hacked. Too much for your platform is an unstable unusable fortress industry industry standards etc right um okay wait contracts required for migration from v2 farms into rome are finished current farmers will be able to migrate their positions into rome with a few clicks so that's great to know um, Rome leverages a DEX aggregator to ensure uses the best prices. Transactions are optimized via multiple DEXs, like an aggregator, right? Yep. And then uh, when dealing with significant volume generated through zapping, rebalancing, and LP auto compounding, efficiency is key king. What's great, you know, as soon as we do get this out, there's so much volume now on DEXs, guys. Like the, 
D5 volume right now is super high. So all the yield everywhere is super high. So Black Cube is going to be able to come into a situation where DEX volume is super high. And, you know, we're going to be able to reap the benefit from that in a uh, fast, fast and efficient way. I've seen some of these DEXs and what kind of volume they've been doing. Like, yo, we could earn some serious APY. And then having these optimized strategies on top of it. You know, it could look really, really, really good. We just got to get, we got to get going, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so what we got? Our decentralized governance model is what DeFi is all about. So this is a great update from Uniswap because there's proposals to uh, reward token holders in major governance. Uh, uh, wait, stake your seat in the round table, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so they want to do a, re a reward system for Uniswap, which would only be beneficial for Black Cube, right? Uh, because you know we'll be able to optimize on Uniswap and then be able to get the benefit of you know getting rewards, etc. Uh, we are nearing the final stage of testing the full website functionality. Users of Rome can you choose from 20 custom strategies, etc. So this is going to be pretty cool. And of course, uh, look range update with adjustment analytics. That's the time. Boom. All right, cool and all of that looks cool algorithmic time weighted optimization for liquidity range is upon us i am looking forward to this i think everyone is thirsty for this to come out right so prepare remember users have the option to stake their cube in the saturn pool stake cube and earn cube b and b and seat uh the, the black cube finance ownership token your position is auto compounded multiple times per day so set it and forget it all roads lead to rome and the planets are aligning on black cube finance saturn pool and this is a, a sneak peek about how it can look and it looks pretty dope nft dashboard the cube our balance of funds being able to stake them auto compounding pool allows you to earn rewards <clears throat> tax reduction something similar to the model that was created in um animal farm right so yeah pretty interesting uh future focus to two eyes on the horizon black cube is built with evm chain expansion in mind the duncan upgrade opens the door for limitless black cube finance integrations rome wasn't built in a day but bricks were laid every hour that's a fact so the duncan upgrade and it's gonna be dope just a sneak peek of Black Cube Finance pre-launch referral competition. So now we're getting close, guys. So what this tells me, guys, is that we're getting very close because I would imagine that there would be a period between launch and um, having this competition. And um, this will be your chance to accumulate points for a share of the treasury pool consisting of cube tokens. So things are about to get hot in here, right? So he has the whole contest set up. You get invite code, you know, uh, make your first deposit, get invite codes to build your team, and play free lottery system in there for a competition, ways to earn points, make a deposit on our platform, refer friends and family, play free lottery, boom, 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 boom. So that means that we're gonna be able to make deposits once we get all this uh, competition. <clears throat> so that should be interesting. So putting the finishing touches on Black Cube Finance pre-launch referral competition, you'll be able to boost your points at the spin of a wheel. <clears throat> so there's going to be an element of, of, you know, randomness, spinning wheels, look, team deposits over 1,000, team deposits over whatever, 10,000, uh, spinning, selecting a threshold, and um you know potentially making some nice gains there so i think in my opinion that we're getting very close to the referral aspect of things which is going to have us active again you know what i'm saying i would imagine that there would be a new chat i would imagine that these things are soon coming so i just want to prepare the squad you know what i'm saying and it's up to you to participate and it's up to you not to participate. But on paper, of course, 
Black Cube Finance looks like an absolute masterpiece, something that doesn't need to totally rely on price action because that price action will be a given, being able to provide an excellent service that feeds the tokens of the protocol and being able to you know, utilize our funds. Of course, there's no deposit fees, no withdrawal fees. You just put your, your LP together and then set your optimization, even custom strategies, and be able to have institutional grade kind of tools at our disposal. I do not see the bearishness in that. I do not see uh, 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 the lack of innovation because all of these liquidity managers, position managers, they're not gonna be able to have the kind of flexibility that we're gonna have, but also the accuracy that we're gonna have, the optimization that we're gonna have here on Black Q Finance on paper, of course, right? So, you know, we're gonna wait and see and of course, going back to the philosopher, you know, if he had to take time to do what he had to do and step back from the noise, then that's what he had to do. But there have been some greats out there who have done the same thing and have and have had tremendous success, legendary success. So we're going to see what, you know, Forex Shark and team has in store for us and we're going to be locked into the black cube finance right so shout out to the squad out there i'll have any updates regarding the uh you know uh, uh referral uh, competition etc and our team of course will dominate <laughs> we will dominate right <clears throat> and we'll stay locked in shout out to the squad hit the like button on the way out and tell a friend to tell a friend that barter town is live salute to the squad out there